Okay, so foundations math 24.1. Uh, number one, the the term the, the word valid means are they true or reasonable? Are they true? So give reasons for your choices. So let's take a look at number letter A just real quick. Sine of 25 and sine of 65. Would those be the same? You could check them on your calculator, but you should know enough to know that you know what these are different. They're both first quadrant angles. Okay, so there are no two angles in the first quadrant that would have the same sine ratio. They're all different. Now, in the first quadrant and in the second quadrant, the complement or the supplementary angles have the same sine value, right? So what about B or D? Let's go over to D. 122, sine of 122 and sine of 58. Now, are, what you're looking for is are these angles supplementary? Are they supplementary? So 122 plus 58 gives us 180. So the sine values are identical. Now, if you go back up here, Sine of an angle theta and the sine of its supplement. So here's the first quadrant angle. Here's this is a second quadrant angle. They will be equal. Now with cos and tan, they're opposite signs. Okay, positive and then negative. But with sine, they're equal. So let's do one more. Let's do C tan of 46 and tan of 134. Now do these add up to 180? First of all, yeah, yeah. they do. Now, are the tan values for the first quadrant and its supplement identical? No. no. No, they have to be, one has to be negative. And here, they're both positive. So C is not valid. Make sense? Yep. You could check this on your calculator by simply plugging that in. All right. Uh, number two says calculate each ratio to four decimal places. Predict another angle that will have an equal or opposite trigonometric ratio. Okay. So sine of 15. Now, we're, you're going to calculate that with your calculator, okay, and get a number. But the second part, making your prediction, you don't, you don't really need the calculator for that. Okay, let me get back to my, sorry. All right, so I'm just going to plop some of these this down so I can work on this here. Okay. So what is sine of 15, just out of curiosity? Am I, anybody, who's got that? 0.2582. What point two? Zero point two. Okay, 0 0.2588, all right. So that's the sine of 15. Now our prediction would be the sine of 180 minus 15 should be exactly the same, right? Which is the sine of 165, okay? Now is this true? Okay, so we've got the uh, um, calculation to four decimal places, and we've got the prediction of one other angle that'll have the equal or opposite. Now, it says or opposite because look at, if you look at B here, cos of 62, what's cos of 62? Somebody that's finished, you all should be finished this question, of course, but what's the uh, value there? 4695, okay, that's rounded properly to that decimal place. All right, so um, what about cos of, um, well, what's 180 minus 62? 118, okay, good. Now, should that be identical? Yes. No. Okay, same number, but this should be a negative, right? Again, if we go back to our textbook, and you have this in your notes there, cos is positive with a acute angle there, and it's the value is negative when we have its complement. All right? And we also took a look at the cast rule when we talked about that too, right? So. C A S T. Cosine is positive for any angle that terminates in the fourth quadrant. All are positive for for first quadrant angles or anything that terminates in the first quadrant. Like you could have an angle that is 370. Right there. This is 370. Because it's just five degrees past 360. Well, sorry. It's ten degrees past 360. <laughs> it is five degrees past 365, but we're not talking about days, we're talking about degrees. So this is 10 degrees here, right? This has a positive sine value. So if you look up, if you look up sine, and, and this, is, this is going a little bit beyond what this question is asking, but the sine of 370 should be the same as sine of 10 because it terminates, or the, the terminal arm is the exact same. And it should be a positive value and the same as sine 10. So that's not, we're not quite going that far, but the sine is positive here, tan is positive here. So that means that all the others, cos is negative, tan is negative in the second quadrant. And that's what we learned there. 
All right, good. What about number three? Any questions on number three? Or you got number three all right? To turn two angles between zero and 180 that have each sine ratio. Oh, cool. Actually, let's do that one. So how did you find at least one? How did you find the first angle there? How did you do that only given this decimal? Someone want to tell me how you did that? Okay, inverse at sine. Good. So we, we were asking about the sine. Uh, so I heard sine to the negative 1. Okay, good. On your calculator, you'll have the second function sine button should have sine to the negative 1 as an exponent. And as soon as my calculator pops up, here it comes. Wakey, wakey. It's sleeping in this morning too. All right. So, oh, where should I do that? I'll do that right over here. So if I turn it on and then clear it. So second function sine of 0 0.64 will give me an angle of 39.79 or 39.8. So 39.8 degrees will have um, a sine value there. So the, the angle in question that will have a sine value of 64 is 39.8 degrees. Have we agreed with that? Yep. All right. What other angle will also have this as a sine? So theta 2, let's say. What's the other angle? 180 minus 39.8, which is 140.2. That's right, that's right. Um, so, uh, and that's degrees, of course. Okay, so determine two angles between 0 and 1E that have each sine ratio. Yeah, I think that's good. Now, the back of the book might round that up to 40 degrees and round this down to 140 degrees. Okay, so probably the textbook does that. Yes? yes? Okay, good. So same thing for the other uh, ratios you see there. Awesome. Okay, you guys are doing great. Now, number four, I had to help a few students with this yesterday. Number four, identify pairs of angles um, with equal sine ratios in the five triangles that are uh, shown on the side here. So I'm just going to quickly copy these over into the notes. And what we want to do is find angles in these diagrams that would have equal sine ratios. And uh, it's not going to be as hard as you think, but we have to do a little calculation first. Okay, so for example, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get all that in the one screen, but it's still tough oriented that way. So the first triangle, let's just focus on one triangle here. If this is 80 uh, and this is an isosceles triangle, what does that mean about these two angles? What, what? They're the same. Now, they're not 80, but they are 180 minus 80 divided by 2, right? That's what's left over, divided by 2, and equal, and that's going to be 50. Okay, so these are each 50. Nice. What about this over here? So this is 55, another isosceles triangle. That means that this is 55. So 55 and 55 is 110. 180 minus 110 is going to be 70. Uh, so does that mean this is 70 right here then? Yeah. It does. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Uh, we're doing pretty good here. So 110 and 20 is 130. So this angle is 50. Okay. That's nice. Um, this is an equilateral triangle. We don't know any angles uh, that are not are given, but 180 divided evenly by 3. Good job. 60. Okay. And then finally, this is 40. This is 20. That's 60 when you add those together. So 180 minus 60 is 120. So this is 120. Okay. So now that we've got that figured out, we are looking for pairs of angles that have the same sine ratio. I am looking for... Uh, angles that are supplementary in here. So which angles are supplementary? Uh, do you see any? Yeah, go ahead. Angle D and angle K. Angle D, which is 70, and angle K, which is 110. I love it. Angle D and angle K. Why? Because the sine of uh, 70 is equal to the sine of 110. Good job. Amen. Is there another one? Hey. Um, any angle N and angle H, as well as angle M and angle H, and okay. angle O and angle H. Okay, so angle N or angle M or angle O, and angle H. Okay, angle H. 
those ones should have the sine ratio and let's just double check so the sine of 120 should be equal to the sine of 60 whoops that's backwards this should be 60 and a 60 okay and this is h is 120 i guess so is that true well these are supplementary so they should have identical sine values great and yeah you could do m and h and o and h too are there any other pairs in there that you guys see that we have mentioned or is it just kind of those two groupings Oh, um, identical pairs like with e yeah, it could be the exact same ones too. Yes, yeah, so they don't have to be just supplementary. Thank you. So are there some that are equal here? Oh, I see an angle C and an angle. Was that L? Angle C and angle L. Yes, because sine of fifty, of course, equals sine of fifty. So yes, absolutely, good job. So that's that that opens up a lot more too. Here's I and J. Those are the same, right? What else do we have scanning the crowd here? Do have anything else? 20, 40. So oh, yeah, yeah, of course. N and M, and N and O, and O and M. You bet. All those, yeah. Yes, F and E, yep. All the identical ones, and B and C. You bet. You can name uh, any, as many of those as, as you could possibly see. So equal angles. We'll have the same sine ratio and supplementary angles. We'll have the same sine ratio. All right, is that the last one? Okay, what does it say? What does B say? What do you know about the cosine and tangent ratios? Oh, for these pairs, uh, what can you say? What is, what is B? What do you say for B? The cosine and tan ratios for those pairs of angles, like 70 and 110, let's say. It would be the same number, but opposite sign. Okay, same value or same number, but opposite sign. Yes. So the opposite. So opposite numbers, yeah, you can just call them opposite numbers. Um, sometimes people get confused by, what do you mean an opposite number? Well, it's the same value but opposite sign. It would be like on a number line, if this is zero, if you have uh, five over here, the way you look at it, five over here, the opposite would be the exact value that's on the exact opposite side of the zero, so negative five, 10, negative 10, and so on. That, that's how you get opposite, kind of like same distance away from zero. Okay, now the equal ones though would be equal, right? Yeah. The, the values, so that's why I'm kind of wondering if they weren't including the equal ones, but whatever. Because um, these ones would be opposite signs for cosine and tan, but the same uh, values, they would be the same sign obviously, right? Cos of 50 and cos of 50 would be the same, same value. All right, I think you guys got it. Let's move to 4.2.